In an age where more than half of all adults will come down with a chronic disease, maybe the solution is not popping more pills, but a pet. Our beloved four-legged friends are actually good for our health. That's according to the best-selling book, Dog as My Cat. I mean, wait, <laughs> wait, 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 Dog as My Doctor, Cat as My Nurse, An Animal Lover's Guide to a Healthy, Happy, Extraordinary Life. I think that is awesome. Well, yeah. joining us now is author <laughs> Carlene Montes de Oca. So we are all animal lovers here, Carlene. So let's, how can pets help you live a better, healthier life? In so many ways, so many ways. For example, my friend here, Athena, Athena's from Whiskers and Tails, and, and you, can, uh, you can bring Athena into your home if you would like, if you would like to get more exercise. She's awesome in terms of getting us up and out, especially if we have a family. You know, there's so much obesity going on and so much sedentary lifestyle that we all need to get up and get out more so than we are. We know childhood obesity is a problem, and you say sure. having a pet helps. Is it just walking the dog or other things? Too? There are other things. Activity, okay, so yeah, you can walk, and that's fantastic because she's going to need two 30-minute uh, walks a day, which is mm. 60 minutes, which is fantastic. Mm -hmm. So kids can do that, and that's great. You can also, kids love, of course, playing, as do adults, we all forget to play. Playing, playing with a ball, playing frisbee, getting out, maybe jogging. Mm -hmm. Athena's not a jogger, but you, know, <laughs> you may have another dog who is. Well, let's talk about it. How have pets, you've seen pets literally change someone's life. I have. How, like what are some of the stories? There are so many stories, so many stories, but I think right now, one, I think of, for example, a story with a cat. There was a woman and, a, and her husband, he came down with Parkinson's disease and it was sad because they could no longer walk together and they loved taking their walks. And one day she found that her cat was chasing after her and she was concerned because she thought, oh my gosh, I don't want this dog, this cat to get hit by a car. Aww. But the dog kept, the cat kept next to her all the time. And the cat not only helped her get out every single day, she's been walking with her cat for two years, Aww. but she, the cat helps the husband who has Parkinson's feel better, you know, the warmth of the animal against him. They play and make him laugh. And she says it gives us hope. It is really calming though to pet. I heard it they is. can actually lower your blood pressure. I believe it. I believe My it. blood pressure right now is so low. <laughs> <laughs> well, you were in the entertainment industry, so it wasn't always low. And no. you decided to make the switch into this sort of field. And also you're an acupuncturist. How did I you am. make that transition? Well, I loved the film business. I love the movies I worked on, but the film business is a tough taskmaster. Mm -hmm. uh, I had to work very long hours. There was a lot of stress sometimes some stressful personalities, and one day I just literally could not pick up the phone again to make another call to get onto another movie, and I said, I have to find something else. And I thought, well, I really like acupuncture. It's helped me when I've been you know, with, in the movie business, and I tried it and fell in love with it. And I've been an animal advocate for, you know, for a lifetime, and so I combined all of this Aww. in my book. That's Good really for wonderful. You. Thank you. Gosh, yeah. Carlene, thank you. Again, you can check out her book, Dog as My Doctor, Cat as My Nurse, and her website is animalhumanhealth.com. I might have to check out your website. That's I pretty neat too. stuff. I think thank that's you. Great. Thank Good you. for you. Thank you. Very inspiring. Thank you very much. Oh.